Hello everybody, this is Cryptic Mac Genius, and today I have a tutorial for you. So this video goes out to Pokemon 479. I'm so sorry this video took so long. As I said in the last one, um, you commented about, or asked this question about five months ago, and I told you I'd make a video and completely forgot. And I was looking through my comments today and saw it, and I was like, oh, crap. So hopefully you're still around my channel. If not, I'm sorry. Anyways, so I just got done making my iMovie 13, how to add a photo video. So I'm going to show you how to do it in iMovie 11. First off, if my iMovie is set up is different from yours, if you like it, all you have to do is this button right here. That uh, twisty arrow thing. Is click that, and it'll switch your project view and your um, media view, which I recommend doing. All right, now on to the video. So you want to add a photo to your timeline. So let's go ahead and grab this video and drop it down in the timeline. So we're going to just go ahead and take it up to 30 seconds so we can see the entire clip. To add a photo in iMovie 11 is relatively easy. It is go to your uh, left and there is a camera right here. Show or hide photo browser. So it's Command 2 on your keyboard, or you can click the icon. And as you see, it has my uh, iPhoto library. I only have nine pictures in it, but for this tutorial, it works. All you have to do is find your picture. We'll just use this one right here. Drag it over and drop. So there it has added your photo. Now if you want to do the photo over the timeline, or over the video, you can just drop it in and hit insert. So wherever your red line is, as you can see there, that is where it will insert the photo. Now along with iMovie 13, iMovie 11 does automatically apply a Ken Burns effect to your photos. So you can go through and select each one of your photos with command click and then if you go to the little blue box, let me zoom in on that, the little blue box right here, if you go to that and then go to crop Ken Burns and rotation, it'll pop up up here and you can hit crop which is just cropping or you can hit fit I do that because I think it looks better so as you can see here and there's the photo it doesn't have the Ken Burns effect yay now if you do like the Ken Burns effect and you want to adjust it just do the same thing go to your cropping Ken Burns and rotation click on Ken Burns and then you have these green and red boxes. So the green box is your start. So if you want to start right here and end up here, you could. Or if you wanted to start zoomed in really far. So let's bring your Ken Burns small and put it there. And then let's make, okay, it's as big as it can be. So hit done. And now this one will grab this zoom out to show the full photo. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial helps. Have a good day.